Hello and welcome to another video from No Code Cult. Today, we are going to look at two interesting No Code tools. Many of you might be familiar with Notion and its ability to convert its pages into shareable websites. As useful as it might be, the end product still looks very much like a Notion page. Today, we are taking a look at Popsy. Popsy claims to convert Notion pages into better looking websites and they say they can do it all for free. Here we have the landing page for Popsy. I checked out a demo video and understood that our Notion pages need to be formatted in a specific way for this to work. For example, let's take a look at this template. And let's click here to view the template on top of which this was built. You can see here that the buttons are made by just using square brackets around the button name. And all our pages ended up being the navigation links which would redirect them to that specific Notion page. Let's quickly duplicate this template and see what we can do with it. Alright, so I did make some adjustments to see what's possible. But from what I've seen so far, it's pretty much square brackets for buttons and regular hyperlinks for links. You can create a new Notion page up here and it will automatically convert it to pages. You can add any blog that you want. I have for example added Twitter and a video from our YouTube channel and it would automatically get integrated with your page as well. All the images and text blocks can be edited as you see them on Notion. Let's try that with the header image over here. And we will pick this example. Once we are done making the adjustments, let's go over to share and we'll share to web. Let's copy this link from here and head over back to Popsy. Since we copied the template for this particular page, let's proceed with this one itself. I'll paste it here in step 2 and I'll click on create site. From here, I'll quickly log in using my Gmail account. And I'll give a name for my website. I'll choose this to be a landing page. And Popsy does give you some tips to get started. We'll click through this. And here I can already see the preview for my completed website. You can also see the blogs that we added for the tweet and the YouTube video have synced with Popsy as well. So this goes to show that any element that you add onto Notion can sync with Popsy. On the side here, we still have the option to choose any of the other templates that we earlier saw if you're not happy with the one that we already chose. All you have to do is select them and click on save. For this example, I think I'll go ahead with this one. If you're happy with how the site looks, you can proceed with publishing at this point. But let's also see what other options are available for us on Popsy. You do have an option to sync with Notion. Everything you do on Notion will pretty much sync here in real time. This is particularly useful if you blog on Notion. You can continue using Notion as your CMS and Popsy will make sure that the content looks pretty for the users. However, if you want to customize the theme here, you will have to pay an $8 fee per month. Let's quickly see what I'm talking about. As you can see here, the customized theme section is tagged as pro and any changes that you do here, if you try to click on save, it will bring up the window asking you to pay. The $8 fee per month also lets you remove the Popsy branding, integrate with Google Analytics and add your own custom code. If you do need the branding to be removed and need deeper control of the look and feel of your website, 
The $8 seems like a decent ask. At the end of the day, it's all about the comfort of using Notion that adds value here. Let's quickly cancel this. So other than picking the theme, all the other three options are actually pro features. Under site settings, you do have the option to change your site name if you're not happy with the one that you chose earlier. Also have a favicon uploaded or a site logo. I'll quickly change the site logo with the Netlify logo from my last video. And I'll do the same thing for the favicon as well. to See how the changes reflect. Or you do have the option to delete the entire website as well. I'm going to go ahead and click on save here. And let me quickly preview this. There you go. You can see already that the logo here has been updated. All websites made with Popsy are responsive. This is how the mobile version of your website will look like. Let's switch back to desktop. We also have a few generic page settings for your SEO and social shares here as well. But from what I've seen, the options are pretty limited. But that is pretty much it. The free version gets you a ready-made solution for your Notion page that is still very much usable as you can see. Since all the links that you provided redirect you to separate Notion pages, you're essentially looking at a multi-page website here. Hope you enjoyed this quick demo of Popsy. This is my first time trying out the platform as well, and I'm surprised by how easy it was to set up. One interesting use case I see is for people who blog on a regular basis, but also for people who want to create their portfolio site and showcase their work, but are comfortable using Notion. All right, thank you guys for watching. I hope you check out Notion and Popsy and build something amazing. If you do, please share them in the comments and I'd for sure like to check them out. Please like, share, comment and subscribe and I hope to see you in the next video.